Hey guys, welcome to Banggood. This is Heather. Today we are going to show you a super cool toy, the 5.5 volt laser engraving machine. What does 5.5 volt mean? It means that the laser is more powerful to engrave the thicker materials and it needs less time. Let's check it out. So now we assemble all the parts of the machine and install the software on the computer. Then we connect it all together. Search through the Windows Explorer to confirm that it is connected successfully. Then we need to focus the laser point of the machine. This is a very important step. Some people ask me some questions before, such as the laser doesn't work or it burns too much. These problems might be because of this reason. Firstly, turn on the low light switch. Please notice, do not turn it on for more than 20 seconds. After that, rotate this screw to adjust the focus. You can see the point is getting small. Alright. Now we can set up the parameters on the band box and start the engraving. Here's band box. I'll introduce four key parameters to you: the time, speed, ppm, fit i, and you'll see the last two parameters in the next page. Click this button to change to the English version first. After that, we can update the firmware. Then, you can see the time and speed here. They depend on the laser module you're using, the size of the pattern, and of course, on the material for engraving. It is flexible. Now, we'll draw a pattern to the film and adjust the size. Because of this powerful laser module, this time, we can even set the time to one for most of the low power machine on woodworking, I will recommend my customers to set it to 300. If it is a very simple pattern to engrave, you can try 100. It's up to you. Choose the calf mode here. Let's try different speeds and check the result. The others are default. Then press the next page. PPM 320, feed RA 1000. These two parameters are suitable for most of the work. Turn on the low light button and adjust the initial position. Then turn it off. Do not forget to wear your safety goggles first, then start. Now we see the different result under 3 speeds. You can see that the pattern under speed of 1500 looks shaky. It's even not clear to see. The result under 800 is not too bad and clearer than the one that you get setting speed on 1500. However, it burns too much. The speed of 1000 is suitable. Everything looks fine. Here's another sample on how to check the speed. You can see problems similar to the ones of the speed. Lower speed will lead your work to become overburnt, while you will get the shaky one on the higher speed. These results are based on the same parameters of time. So, if you have a low power engraving machine, you should check the time as well. Hope you will fix your problem thanks to these tips. It's not very difficult, but it needs more practice. 
feel free to try more time and gain some experience. As you know, the machine can cut some light materials such as bone, paper, and the bosa. This time, we will get some thick foam to check. We repeated engraving four times on it and finally Wow super cool Hope you guys enjoyed this video for more information please check the link below if you have any questions about the machine just let us know or add a comment below Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.